Hey everyone, it's Kim. I'm back. Um, I wasn't going to do another video today, but I saw this position when I sat down at the computer just for a second and I just felt like I needed to get this out to y'all because I know you all love data entry and data processing jobs. So I saw this position posted from the company Inform Data. They're looking to hire a criminal data processor. This position is fully remote, work from home, um, and they are uh, state specific for this position. So I'm going to tell you the list of uh, states that you have to live in to apply for this job. So these are the states. There, um, It's Alabama, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Louisiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, New Hampshire, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Virginia, and West Virginia. So if you live in either one of those states, you can apply for this position. Also, um, you need to know that this position will perform an extensive background check and in the application process over here, once you add in your name, attach your resume and start the application process, they are going to ask you for references. So make sure you, whoever you're using for references, make sure you contact them and ask if you can use them for references and let them know that this, you're applying for a particular type of job and this company may contact them, all right? So make sure you let your references know. Don't just put the people down and they don't know you're using them as a reference, all right? Also, Informed Data does not post the salary for this position. So I hopped over here on Glassdoor, and they state here that the estimated total pay for the criminal data processor at Informed Data is $55,621 a year. Okay, now this number represents a median, you know, and I don't know if this is official, but that's what they have here on Glassdoor. But if you are contacted for a um, interview and you're going through the whole process, make sure you verify the salary. All right. Which I'm sure you will. Nobody wants to go through that. You don't know what the salary is. All right. So let's talk about this job. So as a criminal data processor, you will review cust uh, criminal and civil records for accuracy, ensure all required pieces of information are present. You will pursue any required missing or discrepant information and apply the customized client guidelines to the records. You will also be expected to become an expert in the public records of the jurisdiction that you process. And you must provide support to the criminal data researcher um, who conducts criminal and civil research online. You will be required um, to keep a consistent level of quality and time service based on strategic corporate goals. All right. Now, of course, you know, you're going to be working at home from your desk, they say, for extended periods of time. And your supervisor that you report to will be their um, prospect processing operations supervisor. All right. Now, some of your other duties and responsibilities will be processing these criminal records using informed data's proprietary software, reviewing customer requirements. You might have to act as a backup to the other automated agents and you must maintain quality and TAT, which is turnaround time standards set by informed data. You must also um, perform these key performance indicators. Um, you must be accountable for this, maintaining proficiency in background screening processes and um, aiding in ensuring that accuracy and time service variables are, are maintained, all right? And you know, of course, about that turnaround time. Now, for this position, you only need a high school diploma. You need to be knowledgeable of Microsoft Word, Excel, Outlook, and PowerPoint. You must be able to type 45 words per minute. Um, you must be able to work in both a team environment and independently. You must have excellent written, verbal, and um, 
com other communication skills, presentation communication skills, um, a strong attention to detail. You must have access to a computer and high-speed internet from home. You must complete their introductory training. So you will go through training. I forgot to mention that in the beginning, but now you know, all right? And you must be able to work overtime with prior notice. You must have the ability to work overtime with prior notice. You must be a multitasker, detail-oriented, and you must pass that comprehensive background check that I told you about earlier. All right. So down here, they just talk about more things about you working from home. All right. And having the um, office equipment, everything you need. All right. So if this position interests you, make sure you have all of these certain keywords in your resume. All right. To make sure you are chosen for an interview and possibly this job. All right. So just like I stated, you click over here to start the re the application process. All right. So I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure you share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell. Hit the all button so you will be notified of all these great job leads as they post. Also, don't forget to join the Facebook group where I post additional work from home jobs there every day. You can ask questions. We answer, try to answer right away. Um, you can um, share other opportunities that you may run across with some of the other members of the group. The group is growing. So we want to, you want to get in on that ground floor and support you and I want the best for you. All right. So uh, make sure you do all of that. Make sure you all, oh, also don't forget to like the video and leave a comment. Let me know if you um, have ever heard of this company, if you know anyone that works for this company, or let me know if you applied. You can just let me know. Um, you can just say, thank you, Kim. Thank you for letting us know about this job. Okay. Okay. So take care, guys, and I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.